Run. Bridge Run. We talking Flower Fest. Festival. Flower Town. Fla <laughs> All kinds of stuff. All sorts of stuff. Dave Williams is outside apparently grilling up some yeah, fun. Yeah, are you hungry? Because I'm pretty sure My goodness, there's we got so a lot much of going food on. coming. Hope that you're excited about Fun Day Friday here on Low Country Live because we certainly are. And speaking of Fun Day Friday, like we said, Dave Williams is outside right now grilling up a storm. The world's largest grill is in town, John Bruce. Yes. Do you see that? I do. And All I love the every meat and brats you want, my friend. Well, it's beautiful outside, so why not barbecue, right? Uh, 750 brats can fit on this thing. And then you know what else? What? You know what else goes great with brats and, and fun 2,500 brats in an hour. This is a Mack truck, yeah. people. And they were showing you, you open all the... it up and exactly, it's a grill. All the different events that they've been out to. They've been to football games. They've been to NASCAR. Yeah. All of that. And now right here on Low Country Live. And now Dave Williams is out there right now live. Dave Williams, how much... Look at this guy. Dave, how what are you cooking up for us, buddy? Look at this guy. Oh, we got brats up here. It's awesome. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing, Dave. Uh, we're actually going to make a little recipe out here. It's something different. It's called the Philly Brat. And I'm up here with Rye, the grill guy. Grill master. Rye, the grill master. And Rye, what, what are we making up today? Well, today we're going to make the Johnsonville Philly Brat. It's a really quick recipe. All you need is a red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, and an onion. Obviously, your Johnsonville brats, some provolone or Swiss cheese, and uh, some hoagie rolls. Sounds great to me. Oh, and I forgot the secret ingredient. Oh, what's that? Cheese Whiz. Cheese Whiz. Yes, nice. Sir. So this grill has a microwave on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we threw the microwave up here real quick just for the Cheese Whiz component of it. But obviously, if you're grilling back at home, most people have a microwave in their kitchen. So I've got the Cheese Whiz heated up in there. We've grilled our Johnsonville brats low and slow over here, which is 20 to 25 minutes over wow, a low flame. Good. Ooh, they got to be turned. You want to turn the Johnsonville brats every five to seven minutes or so using a tongs, nothing that can puncture the meat because that lets out the juices. And as we all know, juices are flavor. Right. So you want a little char on the outside of it. I prefer a little char. Uh, you know, it varies based upon the person. Um, so I'm actually going to take these off because they're about done. You want to cook them to about 160 degrees. Okay. Now, and should, should folks at home use a meat thermometer for that? Uh, yeah, it's a good idea generally with any um, any raw meat. So, definitely, definitely. Uh, whatever you're cooking. And so. you're in town for the Cooper River Bridge Run here. That's right. Uh, we were out here last year for the Cooper River Bridge Run, and uh, we had a great time. We're going to give away about 5,000 brats <laughs> in uh, woo, about an hour. We're going to have those grilled in about an hour and a half. That's awesome. And last year, I remember, I came out of Marion Square, and you're right there on Meeting Street, right? That's right. We'll be right uh, at the finish line, so when those runners come off the race, they can come on over and replenish with some iron and protein. The brats are full <laughs> of that, so uh, it should be a great time. Yeah, so folks have run their six miles. They need to get their nourishment after the race, but you're not here just for that. You're also doing some charity work along the way. That's right, yeah. Uh, the Johnsonville uh, Big Taste Grill, we tour all over the country raising money for charities. Uh, to date, the Big Taste Grill has raised over $3 million for foundations like uh, Live Strong, uh, Susan G. Komen, Race for the Cure. Um, I mean, you name it, we have most likely work with the charity. Definitely, and you do a lot of places around the United States. You've done the uh, Kentucky Derby. Yeah, we've been to the Kentucky Derby, Daytona 500, Super Bowl, uh, countless sporting events. I mean, you name the event, we've most likely been there. Now tell us a little bit about this grill. How big is it really? It's 65 feet long. It weighs 53,000 pounds. We can grill up to uh, 750 Johnsonville brats at a time up here. Wow. Or 2,500 an hour. 2,500 an hour. And, and did I hear somebody else say there's about 440,000 BTUs up here? That's right, yeah. <laughs> But who's counting? But who's counting, right? <laughs> every uh, every grill we've got up here is 110 BTUs, so that's 440,000 when you count them all off, or 32 square feet of grilling surface. Oh, wow. All right, Ryan, do we have one ready to make the Philly uh, brat here? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to grab one off the grill. Here we go. I've got a bun ready to go with some cheese in there already. Oh. Now, my peppers and onions are right over here. Peppers and onions ready to go. They should be ready to go. Oh, oh look at those peppers oh, oh, oh. and onions. Look at that. 
give them a quick stir here. All right. Grab a bunch of those. Yep. I'm going to slather them right over the top of that brat. So we've got mm. cheese on the bottom, peppers and onions on top, and now the secret weapon. <laughs> this is going to be really hot. If it doesn't explode in the microwave, it's not cheese whiz. That's right. It's got to be messy. <laughs> oh. Just smother that on. So it's it's cheese on cheese on Johnsonville brat with peppers. Mm. Flavor doesn't get any bigger than that. Awesome. Right? I think I'm going to have to enjoy this. The plate can barely hold it. Oh, and by the way, I'll have this recipe online on my blog at BigTasteGrill.com. Check it out. You can follow the grill all over the country. I post every day. Awesome. Thanks, Rye. And I'm going to enjoy this in a minute, but I first have to do a little weather. How's that sound? Sounds good. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on on the satellite and radar right now. And around the southeastern 